everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are doing a t-shirt yarn project. So together with the t-shirtyarnshop.co.uk you will find a link below. I have designed a number of patterns and they are available in kits. So we have decided to use the hashtag jolly good yarn uh, so you can post your projects or any pictures that you do with this hashtag and they will all be um, sort of gathered together not only that jolly good yarn is the brand of t-shirt yarn that is sold by the t-shirt yarn shop it is their own brand of t-shirt yarn and it's great to work with now, if you buy this kit, um, I will receive a little bit um, of the money that you pay for it because obviously I have designed the pattern. So in this kit, you will then find the bobbins of t-shirt yarn that you need. You will also get your hook that you need and this time it's hanging baskets and I've called them Cara and these are the ones that I have designed. So everything is in the kit for you to make these. This video is for you to um, get some advice and some help on making them. And I have designed these in UK terminology. In the kit, you will find the bobbins that you need for your project. There will be a large bobbin of the main color and then two small bobbins of the accent colour. You will have your crochet hook and there will be the pattern. Now in this pattern it says hanging baskets but actually there are three sizes so you will be able to make three hanging baskets in different sizes small medium and large and every size is described separately in the pattern so it's nice and clear so you've got your small one here and then it tells you how to make it how to make the handle then you have the medium one where you make it and how to make the handle and then you have your large one and as well how to make the handle so it makes it quite easy for you to choose which one you are going to make but of course you will have enough t-shirt yarn to make all the three baskets as I have designed them in the pattern in this video we are making the small hanging basket. It will also give you all the tips and tricks you need to make the other sizes as described in the pattern. So let's get started. We have a magic circle to start with so I cross the yarn over my fingers like this. You go under the first strand, pick up the second strand and pull it through like so. Then you go back to the second strand and you do a chain. Now this chain does not count as a stitch, so we're just going to forget about it basically. We are going to do six double crochets into the circle. So make sure you are working over both strands of your magic circle. And a double crochet is insert, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So we are going to count the stitches in a moment so you're not going to count the v's but you're going to count the bodies of the stitches so this is one two three four five and this is our chain so i just have one more stitch to do and that is six double crochets you are now going to pull to close up your circle so we are now going to do a special slip stitch. So we take out our hook, we insert it from the back under the V of the first stitch. You then put the loop back over your hook and you pull it through. This now closes up our circle. You might want to give that magic circle another tug so it closes up a bit more. And you can, um, you know, close it up more later on when you've done a couple of rounds. Okay, so now we are ready to start round two. It says chain one plus. That means do a chain. 
and the plus stands for the first stitch of your round but really I look at that as my last stitch and it's not really a stitch it's a fake stitch so now we are going to look to the right of our of our work and we're going to find the first stitch that we are going to be working in now you need a point of entry and that point lies where the two V's meet so I'm going to go into the stitch here to come out in the middle of the stitch there and I am going to pull through a loop. You are going to take your hook out and you're going to reinsert it from the front and then you bring the back loop to the front. Next we are going to start doing check mark double crochets and we have to do two in each stitch around. So now we start working in the normal direction to the left as we usually do and we are going to skip this one because that's the stitch where that chain was earlier. So we are going to go into here and you are have to come out there. So your point of entry into your stitch is not under the V but it is much lower down so it is in the body of the stitch and you are going to go through the body of the stitch through those two posts can you see that there are two posts in the middle there that's where you're going to go through so let me just insert my hook and if you can see at the back it comes out there and that's the point of entry that you need to make a check mark double crochet. Now I'm using this stitch because there will be a lot less holes in your base plate for your basket and you find that particular two strands you find that underneath this point here. So where the two V's meet just underneath that's where you go in and you come out on either side of those posts there. Now in the beginning it's a little bit difficult once you get started and you get used to it it's a lot easier and we do two check mark double crochets in each stitch around. Sometimes you just have to move a strand to the side because obviously the t-shirt yarn could be lying over one another. So make sure you do six of these where you do two double crochets in the stitch and I will meet you at the end here where we have that chain or that fake stitch already done. I have now done two check mark double crochets in five locations around my work and the sixth one here that's where we did that first fake stitch that's where I'm going to put another one of those check mark double crochets so in pull up a loop and do your stitch now we are going to do a special slip stitch again so we are going to take out our hook into the first V Put your loop over your hook, pull it through and pull it tight. Now what does this do? This ensures that we have no seam visible. See if you weren't to know where my hook was attached or where my loop was you would not have been able to say which is my seam. So that's the reason why we are doing those special slip stitches. Now I suggest that you pull closed your magic circle really well now and you use a hook a smaller hook let me just take out this here if you wait too long to do this you won't be able to get into the basket to do it so I always try and remember to do this um, you know sort of at this stage so what I tend to do is I find a little stitch to go under sort of a strand that I can manage to go under there we go and I take that strand and I pull it in there. And that's how I sort of continue for a little while until I have worked away some of this tail. And make sure you close that middle 
circle really well because this is the last chance you will have of closing it up. Okay, so keep doing that for a little while. Let me just pull this out <laughs> and I will tell you what to do next. So let's get back with our basket. So we have now got uh, row one and row two. You should have 12 stitches around and we are going to do round three and we are going to start with a chain one plus. So again, chain one and then the plus is doing a fake stitch to the right of your work and we are going to insert and push through. Now very often here I can't really find those two strands because this bit here is constructed slightly differently because it's our starting chain each time. So I am just going to do what we normally do, do that chain and pull those uh, loops through one another and that's fine. Okay, so now we are going to go into the next stitches again, check mark double crochets always into that point there. And because we're doing round three, we are now doing a ratio of increase of one. And then in the next stitch, we are doing two. We are disregarding this one until the end of the row. So one and in the next stitch, we are doing two check mark double crochets. And then in the next one, you do one again, the next one, two, and so on. So I will see you at the end of the round. I've now come to the end of my round. Um, at the end here, I had to do two stitches, but this one was already here. So I just added another one and making it two. So you take out your hook insert it from the back into that first V, then put your loop over your hook and pull it closed. And there you go. There is your finished round. Start again for the next round. So round th four, you chain one, and then the plus means we are going to go just to the right there, insert, go through, bring up a loop, take out our hook, reinsert it from the front and do a stitch or do your chain and do a fake stitch. So we are now ready to start our stitches. So one check mark double crochet in the first two stitches. This one here is the last stitch of our round so we disregard that for now. So that's the first two stitches. Then we are going to do two check mark double crochets in the next stitch. So we are going to place two in the next stitch. There we go. And that is how you are going to continue one, one, two, all the way around until you meet this stitch here, to which you will have to add another check mark double crochet to make it two. I have now done my last check mark double crochet in with that first one so that make makes that last two and I am now going to do a special slip stitch so I take out my hook insert it under the V there loop it round and pull it through there we go and so this is going to be the base of our basket. Now we are going to continue doing check mark double crochets but we are no longer increasing and automatically it will become a bowl shape. So for rounds 5 to 12 up to and including 12 you are going to chain one then do your plus so that means going into that first stitch to the right coming out wherever you can as I said it's a little bit constructed a little bit different pull it up your loop like so 
reinsert and make your fake stitch. And now what you are going to do is you're going to place a one check mark double crochet in each stitch around. So you have 24 stitches now and you must make sure that you keep 24 stitches. So do count them at regular intervals to make sure that you are not losing any. And you keep going. When you come to here, you just do your special slip stitch so you don't have to add a stitch there because obviously we're only doing one stitch in each stitch. So you do your last stitch here, you do your slip stitch and you do the same thing again. So that is until you have done row 12. Okay, so I will meet you there. So I have now done my 12 rows. Now if you find it hard to count, um, you just count the circles here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I keep counting 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you count the Vs in the order. So there we are, so ready to cut off. So let's cut this one off, not too short. Um, we will take this along into our next stitches in another in our other color in a moment. So we are now ready to start with our new color. So I'm using dark blue, and I am going to act as if that came from wherever this gray would have come from. And I'm going to do my chain one, like so. And now I'm going to do the plus. So we are going to go into this stitch here, go through it, make sure you have your grey one going over your hook like this, your blue one going this way as well, and the other blue one, your working yarn, you bring that over or round your hook or whichever way you can bring it through, that's fine. Then you do your chain like this, and we do that fake stitch. Okay, so that's our first stitch. Now, you might just need to pull this end a little bit so it tightens the stitch a little bit and pull the gray one just for good measure. <laughs> so you lay those like this, okay? And we are working with this end here. Um, it's hard enough to sew in your ends, so to speak, uh, with t-shirt yarn. So we are going to try and take these along with us, okay? Now in this round, we are going to do long check mark double crochets and short check mark double crochets. Well, the short ones are the normal ones, really. So this here is a normal one. And now we are going to do a long check mark double crochet. So that means we are not going to go into this one here, but we are going into this one here. So you just go one row lower than you would normally and hook your yarn around, come out and pull it up so you are still working on that same level, yarn over and pull through. And you might just want to make sure that these are laying nicely sort of in a V shape like that. And this is how you are going to continue. So next we are going to do a short one, just a normal one. And the next one is going to be a long one again. So pull it up nicely. Make sure you have those strands in there and do your double crochet. And I just make sure that it lies nicely like that. Okay, so keep doing that until you're all the way around. And if it all works out, you should do a long one here so it works out that it's a long and a short <laughs> a short and a long a short and a long okay so i will see you at the end of the round
And yes, it worked out. Look, I've got a long one here in front of the short one. So I'm really pleased about that. So next we are doing the special slip stitch. There we go. And now we are going to do another round of just um, check mark double crochets all around, just like you did before previously uh, with the grey but look at this here I've got two ends here I've taken them along for a little while so now I can cut them off sort of quite closely to the edge of my work and they will disappear into the stitches if you stretch it a tiny bit like that so that's our ends worked in so that's a job saved so now let's get started on round 14 so we are doing a chain one plus so that's our chain one and then we do the plus and that is going into this stitch here pulling up a loop bringing them up taking your hook out reinserting them and doing that chain there we go okay and now all we need to do is just do another round of check mark double crochets all the way round just to give it a little bit more height for our hanging baskets I will see you at the end of the round I have come to the end of my round of doing check mark double crochets all the way round I am going to do a special slip stitch to finish my round and that's the end of that color so we are going to cut this off and once again we are going to take this along with the next stitches with the next color that we are doing so now we are ready to start with our white and we are going to do a chain one plus so you bring it through your loop just as if it was coming from inside your basket as if you were already working with it and now we are going to do that plus but we have to make sure we do the plus in the right place because we are needing to do alternate stitches of long and short but we don't want to do them in the same place as here so what we are going to do in this one here we'll have to have a long one in this one here we're going to have a short one so we are going to go into this one this time and pull it through so not as much to the right as we would normally just underneath the stitch there we go okay so that's your first stitch there and that's the normal one so now we are going to get started with the long ones and that means we are going to go into there I'm sorry you can't see it very well with the dark color um, on camera but let me just show you like this so you are putting where the long ones are you're putting a short one and where the short ones are you're putting a long one okay so now I've confused myself yeah <laughs> <laughs> the short one is next and again I am going to take along my ends here so I don't need to weave them in now you will notice that my t-shirt yarn is a little bit thinner than the yarn that I've been using previously so this is quite thin this is thicker this is medium sort of you know thickness but that's what happens with t-shirt yarn. Uh, it's not something that is manufactured specially. It's a leftover from any indus from t-shirt industry or from uh, textile industry. So it might be that you know you have a thinner or a thicker version of the t-shirt yarn, and I just work with it the way I can do best. You know. Right. So I am going to continue doing this and I will meet you at the end of the round there we go so once again I am ready with my round I have come to the end so I'm doing a special slip stitch here 
pull it through and I am going to do the chain one plus to get the next round started and in here I am going to do um, that fake first stitch and then I am going to do a whole round of check mark double crochets all the way around. Also I have taken along my ends and they are here ready to be cut off. Okay, so I will see you at the end of the round. I have now come to the end of the round again special slip stitch there we go and that completes our basket now for the handle we are going to just stay on the inside of our work and we are just going to chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 now we are going to go to the other side so count back eight or seven stitches I'm going to count back seven because my diameter is smaller so one two three four five six seven yeah and then sort of find here those two posts and then do a slip stitch. So bring the yarn through like so and just help it if you need to. There we go. Okay, so that is a good size handle. And to make the handle a little bit sturdier because just chains is a little bit floppy, I, th I find, and a little bit thin, I am going to suggest doing a crab stitch all the way back so I am not counting the grab stitches I'm just doing them until I filled up my little um, handle here so the way to do the crab stitches you need to sort of hold a bit of tension onto this onto your handle so that you can go round it with your hook pick up your yarn come back and do your double crochet so you're going under picking it up and coming back and doing the double crochet so you're not going from right to left this time you're going from left to right so the opposite way you're going under picking up and doing your double crochet it's very funny to do very funny feeling I think but it works okay so just do it as long as you have space and you will be meeting the other side of your handle or the basket very soon. <laughs> so I have now completed my handle. I am now going to go and find some posts here to go through. I'm going to yarn over and Try to pull it through to the other side and basically we do a slip stitch. There we go. So I'm going to cut off my arm and pull it through. There we go. So all we need to do now is weave in the ends using a smaller hook and we will have finished our basket. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, certainly if you already have the kit and you want to make the three baskets and if you don't have the kit yet you can always take a look at the description box below where you will find all the details to order it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!